Hello dear children, welcome to my channel Computer Science with Meena Dogra. This is my first video tutorial for students of class 10th for the subject Information Technology by CBSC Board. Fine. Children, Digital Spreadsheet Advanced is Unit 2 of uh, Subject Skills section of IT. In this video, I'll take up Session 2. I'll introduce you to Session 2 that is linked data and spreadsheets and I'm going to cover up one of the subtopics of this session that is setting up multiple sheets in a workbook. Fine. After going through this session, you will be able to, uh, you know, perform various functions such as identifying, inserting, deleting and renaming sheets in an Excel workbook. The content that I'm going to present this uh, present to all of you through this video is strictly as per the CBSC study material and uh, I'll be uh, coming up with another video for the same subtopic using open office calc in days to come so let's begin with the first uh, with the first uh, with this video let's begin with this first video that is setting up multiple sheets in a in an excel workbook see Children, uh, why do we need multiple sheets in a workbook? Fine. Pehle ye dekhte hai, sheets, zyada sheets kyun chahi hoti beta? Actually, you know what happens? Whenever we have huge amount of data, we need to put it in, in an organized manner. So, whenever I am using multiple sheets in my workbook, I am trying to organize my data in a well-defined manner. Fine. So, whenever I open a new spreadsheet in Excel, it has one sheet named sheet 1 which is visible in its tab at the bottom of the spreadsheet. All sheets added further can be managed using their respective sheet tab given at the bottom of the spreadsheet. Let's try this out children and see. I, I'll open up a new workbook for you. Uh, file new. Let me take up a new blank workbook and see what happens. See as I have opened up this new blank workbook I can see there's just one sheet with the name sheet 1 that has been provided by Excel to me by default. Fine. And the place where I am able to see the sheet 1, it is known as the sheet tab. Fine. At present, by default, only one sheet has been opened up and its name is sheet 1. Okay. And this is the sheet tab that is at the bottom of the spreadsheet window. Fine. Let's proceed. Now, after I know how to identify my sheet, let's see what all I can do in my Excel workbook uh, so as to set up multiple sheets. First thing, you know, first thing, ek sheet to aapko Excel ne bana ke de di, that is sheet 1. Now, you need to add more sheets to your workbook. How you will do that, children? See, I am going to tell you four methods, bache. Fine, method 1 and method 2 are there in the study material. And method 3 and method 4 I am providing from my side as two extra methods. Fine. So, let's proceed method by method. See, method 1 says select the plus icon at the bottom of the screen where the sheet tabs are displayed. Select the plus icon. See. Plus icon is there at the bottom of the, you know, at the sheet, in the sheet tab. See, when I rest my mouse pointer on it, it reads new sheet. Fine. So, if I click on this plus icon, uh, this new sheet opens up for me and it ha its name is in continuation with the previous sheet. Previous sheet was sheet 1 which was given to me by default and the new sheet that I have added is sheet 2. If I click on this plus icon again, I will get sheet 3 and so on and so forth. I will be able to add more sheets to my workbook by clicking on this plus icon. It's the easiest and the simplest way to add a new sheet to a workbook. Let's see what method 2 has to tell us. Method 2 kehta hai beta, home tab mein jaiye, go to cells group. Aur wahi ek insert option hooga, usko select kejiye, aur uski drop down list mein se insert sheet option ko choose kar lejiye. Let's, let's see it beta, how it is done for us by Excel. Dekho, we'll, we are already in home tab, see, we are already in home tab, I'll go to cells group and I'll click on this insert drop down arrow. Fine. And here I can see the insert sheet option. Fine. The insert sheet option is there. Let, let me click on it. As I click on it, and sheet 4 is also added to, is also added by Excel uh, in continuation with the other three sheets. Fine. So, it's, again, I'll repeat home tab, 
cells group go to the insert option click on the down, drop down arrow and choose the option insert sheet fine if you can see uh, insert sheet humne yahan se kara bache sheet 5 bhi insert ho gayi so these were the two methods that have been provided in your study material the extra method says press shift plus f11 from the keyboard that's method 3 press shift plus f11 from the keyboard fine see i'll rest my mouse pointer here in cell l3 and i'll press shift f11 from my keyboard look at the sheet tab and observe the changes here i go fine as i have press shift plus f11 sheet 6 has been inserted again i press shift f11 sheet 7 has been uh, added so this is the keyboard shortcut shift f11 that will also help you add a new sheet to your excel workbook it's very simple isn't it see method 4 kya kehta hai beta dekhte hain right click on the active sheet any active sheet select insert option from the pop up menu select general tab in the insert dialog box select worksheet option click on okay fine thoda lamba method hai but there's no harm in learning it karke dekhte hain theek aap right click kijiye sheet par kisi bhi sheet par click right click kijiye insert option aata hai bachche isko select karo go to general tab it's already open to us by default choose the option worksheet and click on okay theek hai so sheet it is inserted let's try it once more right click insert general tab worksheet option okay and see i have been able to add nine sheets so far to my uh, workbook using all four methods fine so ek bari jaldi se dekh lete hain do sare methods पहला मेथड है प्लस आइकन क्लिक कीजिए बॉटम ऑफ द स्क्रीन पर जहां शीट टैब्स होते हैं मेथड टू कहता है गो टू होम टैब सेल्स ग्रुप क्लिक ऑन द इंसर्ट ड्रॉप डाउन आरो एंड चूज द ऑप्शन इंसर्ट शीट की बोर्ड से इफ यू वांट टू डू इट वेरी क्विकली प्रेस शिफ्ट प्लस एफ इलेवन एंड मेथड फोर सेज राइट क्लिक कीजिए शीट किसी भी एक्टिव शीट पर इंसर्ट ऑप्शन लीजिए यू गेट टू सी द जनरल टैब चूज द ऑप्शन वर्कशीट from that general tab and click on okay so this ways you are able to insert new worksheets to your excel workbook fine or in ka name by default aap dekh pa rahe ho that is sheet 1 sheet 2 sheet 3 sheet 4 and so on and so forth fine ab baat karte hain beta agar hame uh, ye sheets humne itni sari add kari bachche isme theek hai if i do not want any sheet So, जैसे इंसर्ट करना हमने सीखा है ऐसे हम शीट्स को डिलीट भी कर सकते हैं डिलीशन आपके स्टडी मटेरियल में नहीं दिया गया है बट स्टिल आई एम प्रोवाइडिंग इट फ्रॉम माय साइड सो आप देखिए उसको कैसे करते हैं डिलीट वर्कशीट को मेथड वन कहता है राइट क्लिक ऑन द शीट नेम टू बी डिलीटेड इन द शीट टैब एट द बॉटम ऑफ द स्प्रेड शीट एंड सिलेक्ट दिन डिलीट राइट क्लिक कीजिए लेट्स गो टू आर बुक थ्री आई वॉन्ट टू डिलीट शीट नाइन आई राइट क्लिक ऑन इट द सेकेंड ऑप्शन इज डिलीट I'll click on it and it is going to do the work for me. Fine, sheet nine is gone. Let's try again. Sheet eight, right click, delete. So this is, you know, the easiest way to delete a sheet. Fine. उसके बाद second तरीका बच्चे क्या है? Sheet seven आपको delete करनी है. Home tab में आप हो. Go to delete option in cells group. Click on this arrow and choose the option delete sheet. Fine. देखो home tab cells group delete drop down arrow and click on delete sheet option. See, sheet seven is gone. Fine. So these are the two ways in which you can delete a sheet from your Excel workbook if it is not required at your end. Okay. So method one and method two, I hope they are clear uh, as far as deleting a worksheet is concerned. Fine. Now let's see rename करने का बच्चे. By default, see Excel sheets. आपने देखा, they are named sheet one, sheet two, sheet three, so on. But you know, you can easily rename them. Renaming क्यों required होती है बच्चे? We require renaming so that you know I can give a meaningful name to my sheet. I can give a meaningful name to my sheet. So sheet के content के according, sheet के content के according, if you give it give it a name that becomes you know easy for you to uh, understand the purpose of that sheet and anyone who has access to your sheet will also be able to understand it that by looking at the name of the sheet uh, as to what your sheet contents are going to reflect fine so renaming ke bhi methods hain bachche there are three methods in your study material and i have provided one extra method also let's see method 1 method 1 kehta hai double click the sheet name in the sheet tab at the bottom of the screen and type the 
new name fine so there are four methods now so i've made a you know a sheet for you a dummy sheet for you uh, that is uh, storing the marks of four terms term 1 term 2 term 3 and term 4 four terms ke marks bachche isme stored hain for five students right now i have not renamed any of the sheets and you, as you can see i am using the default names that have been provided to me by excel so for each of the four methods i'll uh, demonstrate to you how to rename the sheets and give them meaningful names so method 1 mein aapne kya padha ek bari fir dekh lete hain method 1 kya tha double click the sheet name in the sheet tab at the bottom of the screen type the new name chalte hain aur karke dekhte hain double click karte hain sheet name par see it's highlighted for you and you can enter the new sheet name let me give it a meaningful name term 1 marks fine so wo aapka sheet name sheet 1 se overwrite ho ke rename ho ke kya ho gaya term 1 marks theek let's see what method 2 has to tell us method 2 kehta hai right click the sheet name in the sheet tab at the bottom of the spreadsheet select rename option from the pop up menu and type the new name chalte hain aur karke dekhte hain right click karte hain sheet 2 par bache third option hai rename aap insert try kar chuke ho delete try kar chuke ho now we are trying the third option that is rename let's click on it and see the sheet name is again highlighted we can overwrite the contents with our you, you know meaningful sheet name we can overwrite sheet 2 uh and let's name the sheet rename the sheet term to marks theek hai let's see what method 3 has to tell us bachche method 3 kehta hai select the sheet to be renamed go to home tab cells group format option organize sheets rename sheets so lengthy method but not difficult let's try home tab cells group mein humne insert option try kiya at the time of inserting a sheet home tab cells group mein we tried the delete option at the time of deleting the sheets and now we are going to try out the format option in order to rename a sheet so let's see how this is done i want to rename sheet 2 sorry sheet 3 i'll i'm already in home tab and i'll uh, go to cells group click on this format drop down arrow come to the organize sheets section and choose the option rename sheet see the sheet name is highlighted for me and i can write term 3 marks so this is how the third method lets me rename a sheet from its default name to a meaningful name sheet 4 bacha hai beta jaldi se dekhte hain ye kaise hota hai method 4 i have given from my side from the keyboard press alt plus h then press o then press r alt plus h beta aapko le jayega home tab par और ओ आपको ले जाएगा ऑर्गेनाइज शीट्स ऑप्शन पर जो फॉर्मेट सेल्स में होता है एन आर यू कैन वेरी वेल मेक आउट आर स्टैंड्स फॉर रीने फाइन तो करके देखते हैं रेडी आई एम प्लेसिंग माय कर्स हेयर सी माय हैंड्स आर नॉट फ्री आई एम गोइंग टू ट्राई दिस आउट फ्रॉम द कीबोर्ड ऑल्ट एच सी ऑल द टैब्स आर हाईलाइटेड देन आई गो टू देन आई प्रेस ओ सी दिस फॉर्मेट वाला ड्रॉप डाउन लिस्ट आ गया बच्चे और आर देखो कहा लिखा है आर लिखा है रीनेम शीट पर ऑर्गेनाइज शीट पर फोकस करो रीनेम शीट के पास आर लिखा है प्रेस आर फ्रॉम हेयर सी वट है प्रेस आर आर प्रेस करते बेटा यहां आप देख पा रहे हो शीट फोर हाईलाइट हो गया है और मैं इसको जल्दी से रिप्लेस कर देती हूँ टर्म फोर मार्क्स सो सिंपल यू नो कैसे करा आपने ऑल्ट एच देन ओ then r and this this is how you know you could rename your four sheets give them meaningful names using each of the four using you know one of the four methods that excel has provided to you fine right? so this was all about managing multiple sheets you know a setting up multiple sheets in ms excel through this video we learned uh, i'll just open up my slide again आपने सीखा आप शीट्स को कैसे आइडेंटिफाई कर सकते हो आपने सीखा नए शीट्स कैसे इंसर्ट कर सकते हो जो शीट्स रिक्वायर्ड नहीं है हाउ कैन यू रिमूव देम एंड यू कैन गिव मीनिंगफुल नेम्स यू नो टू योर शीट्स बाय रीनेमिंग देम फाइन सो आई होप दिस इज क्लियर इफ यू हैव अंडरस्टूड दिस सेशन प्लीज ट्राई इट आउट एंड आई एल ईगली वेट फॉर योर कमेंट्स सो टिल बी मीट अगैन चिल्ड्रन हैप्पी लर्निंग एंड गॉड ब्लेस यू